Hey friends, on today's quick video, we're gonna be doing a six month review on this GE countertop microwave oven. It's got all sorts of features. We've been using it for quite a few months now. Absolutely love it. There are a few features we don't use, a couple of things that could be better, and some things that actually got a lot better with the newest version. So stick around, we'll show you all the things we love about this guy. So the GE countertop oven is a decent size piece of appliance. Remember that. It does take up some significant counter space. But again, you want these larger capacities with your primary microwave oven, because as you can see, it can hold quite a bit. Now, this is a 1050 watt microwave. So again, it has quite a bit of power. And that's what we primarily use this for is our microwave functions. And it's just worked perfectly. As advertised, everything turns out great. It's quick, it's powerful. We really, really like it. Now there's tons of other features that you can use though. So this has the conventional oven feature. You can click on that. And as you can see, we get a little spinning wheel. We have an air fry mode. That is also the little spinning wheel icon. And then we have a combo. Now here is what that combination button does. You can see if you use the C1, it's gonna be microwave and convection. If you use C2, it's gonna be microwave and broiler. We also have a broil feature down here, so you can use it as a broiler. There's all sorts of other really quick punch buttons so that you can select power levels, your cook time, add 30 seconds. We also have standard time things like popcorn pizza. It's just really nice to be able to come over here, hit a single button and have the thing go. That being said, this is the one place that maybe my review would be slightly negative. It's that I just don't use all of these features. It's really nice having them, but I just use the microwave feature. Now, one of the things we do use all the time is an air fryer. But to be totally honest, we use our independent air fryer way more than this. And I think that's because of the large capacity of the internal piece of this microwave. There's just a lot of space for that air to flow and to heat up. Whereas our traditional air fryer has a much smaller pocket, meaning that we can crisp things up much, much faster using that independent air fryer. Again, if you're looking to reduce counter space, reduce the appliances that you own, then this is gonna come in really handy so you don't have to buy two appliances. Maybe even you just wanna try air frying, this is gonna be a perfect opportunity to do that without having to get a whole separate appliance. So again, not really a negative because it is all these great extra features. Just wanna let you know, to be totally honest, we just don't use them. Now I wanna talk about one more feature that is on these new versions of the microwave, and that is this door lock feature. Now this is a child lock feature that's really, really nice. It protects them from getting their hands on really, really hot food. So what I'll do is I'll just hit the one button and that's gonna start an express cook. And what you're gonna see is a little locking icon that shows up above the timer. Now what that does is it allows the button to be locked. You heard that extra little click, watch this. When I push this, it'll actually stop the timer, but then the door won't open. So again, the microwave is no longer cooking and it allows your child to not get in so we can't touch hot food. Now from here, what we can do is we can either hit the start button again and it'll go back up or what we can do, I'll go ahead and try to close that again, is actually hit the cancel button over here and that is gonna hit the unlock and then we can open it up just like that. So again, that lock feature is with these newer versions of the microwave, definitely an improvement. Added safety is always a really good thing. Now, if any of you think that feature is actually annoying, there's a way of turning this off. What you can do is push and hold the seven button for five seconds. We're gonna hear a beep, and then we hit the nine button just once like that, and then the zero button just once like that. You can see the unlock turns on, and now that child lock option is no longer there. So if I hit the one button, and then I wanna open it, you can see I can do that. Obviously the microwave stops once you do that, and then if you close it again and hit start, it'll go again. So there you go, friends. That is our six month review on the GE countertop microwave oven. We've absolutely loved this appliance for the microwave function. Really haven't used the other features too much. So I can't give you a really good review on those. Again, for somebody looking for an all in one experience, you don't have to have multiple appliances. This could be a really good fit for you. Just looking for the microwave function, we can confirm it works amazing. We've loved having this machine and think you'll love it too. If you're interested, you can find it right here on Amazon.
I hope this has helped, friends. If it has, hit that thumbs up button for us. Stay tuned, make a ton of these appliance slash home slash tool videos so you can have a better shopping experience. Hopefully make your life just a little bit easier too. Subscribe and we'll see you again on the next one.